Hey, it's Adam from Sumitomo Drive Technologies, and on today's video, we're going to go through the process of installing a keyed hollow bore reducer. Uh, so we'll go through installing the key, mounting the shaft, mounting the reducer onto the shaft, lining up the key, make sure everything is good, and then we'll go through the, uh, the keeper plate install to keep that reducer on the shaft. So go ahead and we'll get started. Here's the tools we're going to be using, the most important being the anti-seize and the Loctite. We'll cover them a little bit later, but they are important. Uh, the first step is make sure you're both your shaft and your reducer bore are clean. Uh, we don't want any debris in there, no oil. We want any all of any dirt that may have been there from sitting or from shipping is completely out of the way. Make sure that's clean and dry. Next up, we're going to take that anti-seize and we're going to coat the driven shaft. Now the reason for this is to prevent any fretting corrosion between the shaft and the bore of the unit. Uh, long term fretting corrosion could become an issue and make the reducer hard to remove so we want to prevent that by using the anti-seize. Next we'll go ahead and install our shaft key making sure it's the correct one for the shaft and then once the key is in there we can go ahead and slide the reducer onto the shaft making sure the key and keyway is lined up on all three components and then next we can line up the torque arm connection point. Uh, for torque arm mounting, we've made a couple other videos, so reference those, but the key here is to always remember you don't want that torque arm bolt to be too tight. You want to make sure the reducer can float with any run out of the shaft, but like I say, we did cover that in some other videos, so definitely look those up on our YouTube channel. Once the torque arm is tightened down, again, you should only tighten it down just enough and you should be able to go back and return one of those bushings by hand so the torque arm is good to go. Now to secure the reducer to the shaft, we'll take a keeper plate with the bolt. We'll put a little bit of blue Loctite on the bolt. We'll put the keeper plate through and secure the bolt to the end of the shaft. And you can see there how the keeper plate is a little bit bigger than the bore of the reducer so that it keeps the reducer on the shaft, pulled tight against the shaft to keep it from falling off during operation or vibrating off towards the end. Once that's torqued down to spec, the spec is based on your bolt and your shaft size. Once that's torqued down to spec, the reducer is mounted and you can proceed to install your safety cover and you're good to go.